Hey y'all and welcome to my hot mess house. It is so bad. My husband and I had COVID over the last couple weeks and we have just been down pretty sick and so I could, it couldn't have come at a worse time because Thanksgiving is coming and you know I have all the things to do and I have no energy. The fatigue has been absolutely brutal on me and my husband both and so we've just been doing a little bit each day to get things ready and I had him working in the yard a little bit and you know trying to neaten up out there and then in on the house so day one was me just cleaning the house or cleaning the kitchen I'm sorry anyway um it is time to get ready for Thanksgiving I have no more time to lay around I have got to fight through this fatigue I've got going on and get busy so yeah let's get to cleaning y'all So it's day two of cleaning now and um, I had a day in between of resting so I'm feeling pretty good on this day I had way more energy than expected so I got quite a bit done on this day I did a lot of sanitizing um, laundry tons of laundry because I had to wash every stinking thing we owned I swear it seemed like it I had to wash all of our bed covers and um, when my husband first got sick, I put him in the guest room and I slept in our bedroom. Well, then I ended up with it. So I was like, babe, you might as well come back to bed. Cause so we slept apart for three or four nights and then we just ended up back in the same bed so we could be miserable together. 
but <laughs> so I had to I have to wash the guest covers and our covers and all the things the towels all the good you know all the things to get ready for guests so I was glad for this extra spurt of energy on this day So besides resting, what, if you've had COVID, what did y'all do for the leftover fatigue or leftover symptoms? Um, I'm taking vitamin C, D, zinc, and B12. If y'all know of anything else that I can take to help me restore some energy back, please let me know in the comments down below. I'll try anything. Um, I did have COVID before in 2020. I had COVID in March of 2020 when it very first came out it was a nightmare so I had like the Omicron um, COVID and I was sick for like six or seven months so when I came down sick this time I had a lot of anxiety because um, when I had it the first time it did permanent damage to my bronchial tubes and um, I just am real susceptible to getting bronchitis and things like that and so I was really freaking out um, but it wasn't as bad congestion wise as it was last time but the fatigue is what's killing me so if y'all have any home remedies or anything any advice tips anything like that please let me know in the comments down below This candle that I'm lighting, I got at Guest & Company when I did that shop with me. If you've not seen that video, make sure that you go back um, on my channel and find it. I can actually link it down below in the description box. Um, but that candle is amazing. I burned it for like, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes one day and could still smell it the next day. So Lux candles from Guest & Company are amazing. So I'm to the point where it's time to get the covers off the guest bed and get those put in the washer. 
Y'all, I cannot wait to see my family. I'm a very social person. I'm actually very shy um, at heart, which is kind of crazy, but I love my family. I love my friends and I have missed being around people. I thought I was gonna go nuts. There was a couple days I literally cried because I was like, I have got to get out of this house. Like I was going nuts. But I am so excited for Thanksgiving. It is one of my very favorite times of the year. I am just so thankful for my friends and my family. And I just don't ever want to take them for granted. And I am just super excited. I get to see my grandkids, y'all. Oh my goodness. So excited for that. So yeah, and then I cannot wait to tear uh, this Thanksgiving decor down because uh, I am dying to get my Christmas decor out because while I was in the bed sick, I watched all y'all's YouTube videos decorating for Christmas and um, I am ready to go. I am just so ready. So that will all be coming up on my channel very, very soon. We're on day three, and of course, before Thanksgiving, uh, we need to be cleaning out those refrigerators because if y'all are anything like me, they're full of leftovers and uh, rotten veggies because I can't ever seem to get all my veggies eaten before they go bad. I always go get all these amazing veggies, and then I cannot, for the life of me, eat them all. It's so crazy, but anyway, so I gotta get this refrigerator cleaned out and um, get it ready to pack it full of Thanksgiving groceries and goodies. And then I'm gonna hit my pantry next just to get it straightened up because it's pretty bad. Like I've just been kind of stuffing stuff in there so it's pretty bad. So we're gonna hit that next. You're still here hanging out with me thank you so much for staying this long i know that this is a little bit longer of a video than i normally put out but i truly appreciate you hanging out with me today if you're new here make sure that you hit that red subscribe button and turn on the bell i have lots of fun christmas um decors and shops and shop with me is coming up so you don't want to miss that and if you're returning thank you so much for coming over and continuing to support me video after video i truly appreciate you and appreciate your friendship okay i know i didn't really show it to you before but here's the after 
You can tell I got all the food out. And it's all cleaned up and ready to pack full of grocery for Thanksgiving. So, anyway, glad I got that one knocked off my list. <laughs> All right, so here's the mess that my pantry's in. I've just been getting stuff and throwing it in there. So I'm fixing to just straighten this up really quickly. It won't take that long, honestly. I've just been lazy and not been taking care of it. So here we go. The finished product after I got done cleaning out my pantry it is not perfect by any means it doesn't have to be perfect but it is clean and ready to go for Thanksgiving so that's what's important so I am very excited to have this done it's just one thing crossed off my list that I don't have to worry about in case you're wondering, yes, it is another day, y'all. <laughs> I planned on doing stuff the day after that, but um, we went to church, which it was Sunday morning, so we went to church, and when I got home, I took a four-hour nap, and I was just done after that. I was like, mm, not doing anything else, so I took that time to rest and relax. It is Monday morning now, and... Um, this is the last thing on my list to do is get this guest bed made up and I will be done with all things. I still have to kind of clean up the guest bathroom, but it's not too bad. I just want to, you know, re-sanitize it and make sure that it is cleaned appropriately. But other than that, everything else is just about done. So I hope that y'all have enjoyed this video. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button and all the things help me grow. I appreciate y'all so, so much, and I hope this video has provided y'all with some motivation to get up and get your house ready for Thanksgiving and all the things, so I will see y'all in the next one. Bye!